Jordan, obviously got altering off on Saturday now. He's about sort of a couple of games postponed in the last week. Is that mainly just frustrating for you because obviously he's just can't really get on the pitch and build a bit of momentum together? Yeah, I think that's the main thing. It's been a couple of months now where we've been getting frustrated because we've not been able to get no momentum, especially coming off the back of a couple of decent results lately. We just want to keep the games coming and flowing. So, But on the other hand, all the boys are buzzing just to get back on the pitch, like you said. And obviously, like you say, you have... So two weeks since the last game here, which was against Hereford, how do you kind of turn that gap between fixtures into a positive? Um, I think it gives you two weeks, after the Christmas period, it gives you two weeks to have a real go on the training ground and work on some stuff that would maybe needed working on. So it's good in that aspect, but obviously the match fitness obviously is going to take a little bit of a toll because we've not been playing. And of course you've got a couple of away games up after the Altrincham one as well. So do you feel like it's a bit of a must to get three points on Saturday? Yeah, I think it's a massive game all around. We we owe them one for the result earlier on in the year. They're a team like us that want to get in the playoffs. So if we want to be serious about contending for the playoffs, the games that we've got to win. And um, yeah, just keep the run going as well. We've got a decent run. We've got some games coming up that we feel we, we, we could and should win. So we're looking forward to it. And obviously you mentioned the sort of reverse there. Obviously it wasn't the result he's wanted on the day, but now do you kind of look back at that and think it was one where we could take something and learn from it? Yeah, I think on we got outplayed um, there, plain and simple. I think we were, as a whole team, we were sloppy on the ball and without the ball, and they were the better team on the day, but we know full well we're a lot better than that and we're, we're a better team. So I think going into that game now, I think we've got a point to prove against them. And he's played the least amount of games in the league in the minute with all the postponements. So does having games in hand when you go into them, does it feel like there's a little bit more pressure on you? Because I suppose sometimes you kind of look at the, thing, the league and think, oh, we've got a few games in hand so we can jump up a few. But obviously you haven't got any points on the board until you actually play the games. Yeah, I think me personally, I think I'd rather have the points on the board. But with the games we've got coming up and against the people around us, we're in a good position if we do win them. We're in the playoffs and then it's in our, it's in our hands. So I think you can look at it both ways and uh, well, that's just how it is, yeah. And I say Altrincham are coming here in very good form. They've won four of their last five and drawn their last time out. So, I mean, how tough a game are you expecting? Yeah, we're expecting a tough game. Um, they play good football and obviously we've got a good pitch out here and we play good football as well. So it's going to be a great game to watch. Hopefully the weather keeps, keeps off, the wind keeps down and we should have a really good game of football on Saturday, yeah.